Hi, it's me, Kaylani or Lani Hannon, with another video that you can like and share. And if this doesn't help you, maybe it'll help somebody else. So just for this message today, I am talking about dealing with breakups. So everyone has went through a breakup. Um, if you haven't, God bless you. Get prepared so you know how to deal with it when it comes your way. So, um... <clears throat> A breakup is not the end of the world. Everybody's like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. I lost the love of my life or whatever. It hurts. I know it hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Don't jump off that bridge. Don't cut your throat. Don't slash your wrist because it gets better, baby. And you can get it together. You know, you need to just start. Take five minutes to cry because it does hurt. Take that five minutes. Cry. Listen to Tony Braxton. It's just another sad love song. All that. Take a minute. Take it in. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. And cry. And get over it. And then go out and do something fun for you. Go do something. Change your hair. Put on a new outfit. Go shopping. Don't spend all your money. All right, don't eat that pizza. Don't eat that ice cream because you're just going to get bigger and you're going to be mad. you like, oh, he made me get big, you know. Leave it alone. Go work out. Run the, run the pain away. Just jog. Do something. Release. Do something for yourself. And understand that, you know, sometimes when you get cheated on, you get hurt so bad, and someone leaves you for no reason because they like somebody else, whatever, is them that maybe they have an issue with them because you know what maybe they have some insecurities about you know being with one person and you know they need to have a lot of people or you know cheat to get the thrill of cheating um or whatever to make them feel good so just be glad you found out earlier than later and if you um did find out later still and you got time to find the love of your life, you know, um, if you can't work it out and it's something that you can't deal with and they're not sorry and they're not willing to get some help with their issues, goodbye, good riddance. If, you know what, if someone wants to part, they say if someone wants to depart, let them go. Don't let the door not hit you with the good Lord's but you Say what? Say what? Let them go. Say what? <laughs> All right. No, that's my little hip hop for the day. But anyways, so let them go. <clears throat> And then understand that you are worth being with someone that respects you. T-L-R-H. You need, for a relationship, you need trust, love, respect, and honesty. So, if you don't have that, you know, and they're not respecting you, and they're cheating on you, and they don't care, and they're not apologizing, and they keep doing it over and over again, you don't never know where they at, they don't answer their phone, guess what? Bye, baby. You can miss me on the other side because you know what? There's somebody out there that will respect you and call you back every night, every day, every time you call. And they love to hear your voice. So even if you have to go like on some blackpeoplemeet.com or match.com and find someone that has all your interests in mind, it's a good way to do it because you can screen people. If you meet somebody on the street, you don't know them from Adam and you just gave them your phone number. How spooky is that? So if you think online dating is bad, try meeting somebody on the street and they already got your phone number. At least online dating, you can chat with them on the site before you give them your number. <laughs> you can find out if they're crazy or not. <laughs> um. Anyway, so cheer up. It's not the end of the world. And um, just um, also, you know, they probably had some issues, but if you did have some issues that may have caused the relationship to fail, don't be so sad. Just, you know, say, all right, I'm going to take this as a learning lesson and I'm going to fix what I did. Maybe I don't, I shouldn't argue so much or maybe I should trust a little bit more, you know, and let him go out with his friends sometimes as long as he answers calls when, you know, he's out. So just, you know, take it as a learning thing, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. So forgive them. For you so that you don't take that baggage into the next relationship with your king or queen and then forgive yourself for being full because it's not your fault you know they say fool me once shame on you fool me twice can't get fooled again no i'm just kidding that's how bush said it right can't get fooled again no 
Shame on you. And then fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me a third time. Been there, done that. <laughs> no. Nah. All right. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, quick and full. Then, you know, let it go. You know, if they want it apart, let them go. Let them go. So, now what you need to do after you've, you know, kind of um, had your little cry boo-hoo or you got closure, you know, if you need to call them and get closure, get closure. If you can't get closure, just... Um, forgive them, say your prayer, get closer to God. Sometimes we need to get closer to God or have some spiritual outlet or we need to meditate or whatever so that we have some way of motivating ourselves or watch me or Derek Jackson or Trent Shelton. And I got my mentally stimulate me bracelet from my little mentally stimulate me card game I got from Derek Jackson's. I love them. And the reason I started doing life coaching was actually because of Trent Shelton. So shout out to him. I started in 2011 because I liked how he helped people so much and he helped me with the rehab time. So shout out to them. You know, I want to just say that. And um, so after you basically forgiven them, forgive yourself. And then you know what you need to do, which you're going to hate me for. You're going to, you're going to have to obliterate them obliterate them that means cut them off unfollow them unfriend them erase all their pictures erase them <clears throat> erase cut them off because <coughs> if they did something so bad to you you don't want to be thinking about should i call them that's the worst thing like i should call him just don't have the contact in your phone erase the contact erase any messages so that you can't contact him call him or her anymore if it was that bad now if you think that y'all can be friends or whatever don't don't erase everything but if that person cheated on you so bad did you so bad disrespected you he um talked you down so bad you know was hitting stuff below the belt abusive or whatever um cheated on you with your sister or a boyfriend or i mean uh, or a friend or whatever goodbye erase obliterate it you are officially obliterated unfriend unfollow goodbye and then get to do you become know who you are as a single person sometimes we lose ourselves in a relationship we do everything that they want to do so now that you're single go work out get yourself together find out what organizations you want to get involved in what you want to be now that you're growing up like okay I want to get a new career or do I want to um, start a new business I want to go back to school what do you want to do what do you want to be Make a video. What do you want to do? All right. Be you. Be lovely. Be fabulous. Go out with your friends and family and focus on you. Have fun being single until Mr. Right comes along. And don't fall for the same guy again. Don't go pick the same dude. Like, make a needs list. Like, what you need <laughs> in a guy. Like, you know, these are all my needs. I need to make sure he has this type of income. He's not a smoker, non drinker, or drinks lightly. Um, has some church values or goes to church, or you know, not all church people are good. So be careful. Make sure they're good inside. You know, there's some people that lie in church and steal and kill and all that good stuff. So make sure they're a good person. You know, ask some questions. Get them mentally stimulate me game and see where their thought process is at. And <clears throat> you know, really just do it. So. Um, I wish you luck. I think you're going to be okay. There's somebody for everybody. And I always say, you know, people that are beautiful on, beautiful on the inside can be beautiful on the outside, even if they're not really, you know, um, that appealing on the outside. But if you're beautiful on the inside, it can come out on people like you just for how beautiful you are on the inside. Now, if you're ugly on the inside and beautiful on the outside, you can definitely look ugly. But if you're ugly inside and ugly outside, guess what? Some people actually date them too. So, you know, there's hope. <laughs> Anyways, but you want to be beautiful inside and out. Or beautiful inside. Start with the inside. Because looks are not everything. They fade away. And eventually, we're all going to get old and wrinkly. So, go after the person that's beautiful on the inside. Love you. Bye. <laughs> All right, like this video right now, like really like it, share and subscribe so you can get notifications for my new videos. All right, love you guys. Bye.